go ahead and remove the cap and you're going to remove the top four screws. Now be careful with this part. It only leans open. Now you're going to see four plastic tabs right there. Slowly remove them and you'll be able to take that apart. But be careful because like me, you might break one. Next you're going to remove the two screws that are holding together the contact points to the silver ring. Once those two are removed, you should be able to separate it from the ring and lift it out. Now, there's one ribbon still holding it. That's the one. Pull it out, and the entire piece will come. Okay, next we're going to remove the rest of the ribbons from this board. You should be able to do that by lifting up the tabs. This will release the ribbon and allow you to pull them right out. Now, these two ribbons on this side, you're going to want to wiggle them, or if you have a separate tool, you can pull them out easier. But these do not have any tabs to lift. There's one screw holding the board together, so we can go ahead and remove that as well right now. Okay, now the final ribbon can be released by separating the black from the white, and this should release the ribbon to where you can pull it out. Okay, now you can pull out the focus ring. We'll go ahead and also remove the zoom ring. It's a piece of rubber, so you should be able to easily pull that out. Okay, now we're going to start removing the rest of the screws that you'll see up here. Uh, should be about six. We'll go ahead and remove those screws. Now, once these are done, you'll be able to lift the next piece out. You're going to do it slowly so you don't catch on any of the ribbons. Okay, so you're going to remove any of the final screws. And now, on the side of the barrel, you're going to see a few more screws um, with a small brass clip. Okay, there's three of them. Once you remove these, you should be able to lift the entire outside barrel. Now, that's going to leave the inside exposure. Now, the following screws, go ahead and remove. You'll see I had a little bit of difficulty pulling them out. So you have to make sure you're using the correct tool for the correct job. Now, there's a small little metal clip hanging onto the metal barrel. You'll see that right there, held together by two screws. Make sure you remove these out, and you'll be able to separate that and remove the inner barrel. The silver ring to the bottom left I've already removed by unscrewing the three screws holding it together. I've also removed all the screws that are shown and I'm only using a Torx to pull the plastic black ring that's holding the final inner barrel together. Now you can pull the finer inner piece out and you'll see that all that's left is the barrel that you're holding and this little brass clip that's holding the flex cable. Once you unscrew this clip you'll see the flex cable falls and it releases the inner aperture. Now you can choose to either stop here or go a step further by separating the flex cable from this aperture piece. Uh, you will have to desolder the eight contact points on that flex cable and put a new one back on. Now this is the part where I had to stop because I did not correctly desolder it and messed this part up. But what I did find was that you can purchase this final piece on eBay so that you don't have to solder. Now if you're fine soldering, you can go ahead and remove that flex cable from the aperture ring and re-solder the new one together. Okay, now to put everything back together, of course, go ahead and follow the instructions backwards and you'll have your new lens again. So, thank you everybody and have a good day.